Hello and welcome to the first garden update episode of 2021. My name is Sean, also known as Chili Chump, and I'm thrilled that you're able to join me today. In this episode, I'm going to be picking the seeds I'll be growing this season. I'll also be giving you a bit of an update of what's happening with my crossed pepper. Thankfully, there's a little bit of good news. I ended last year's garden update series with some bad news with my crossed pepper but thankfully over the Christmas time, I've had a bit of success. So let's start off inside the grow shed and see what's going on. So if you remember in the last episode, we were getting a lot of these flowers that as soon as they pollinated they would just drop onto the floor and I'd never get them much beyond about about half a centimeter or quarter or eighth of an inch but I came in here the other day and I noticed we have a little bit of success if you remember this plant is a cross between a lemon drop and a peri peri and that there is a purple chili uh, don't think it will grow out to be purple but it's starting out purple for sure and uh, neither the peri peri nor the lemon drop start out purple so very very interesting this whole plant actually to grow has been quite interesting the different types of flowers that i've seen on it uh, the different types of leaves even but it is a first generation so that's kind of to be expected but we'll see how it goes i'm really looking forward to that pepper ripening up and getting some seeds from it so i can grow on to the next generation but i'll keep you updated through the season as we get more progress. But let's go inside and see what other seeds we are going to be growing this year besides <laughs> this plant over here. This is always a fun time of the year for me. I get to choose the seeds that I'm gonna be growing throughout the season. And I'm sure for you guys as well, it's something that uh, you really enjoy. I've spent the last couple of months uh, looking for some new varieties that I wanted to grow. And I've also had quite a few offers of seeds from a lot of you, the viewers. Thank you so much. And of course, Fatali has sent me a bunch of seeds yet again. So thank you very much. And of course, we have the Chili Chum Seed Kit. So that's going to be going in as well. I have a few seeds that are still to arrive uh, due to this whole Brexit situation as well as COVID. Uh, there's been a few delays, but I'm hoping to receive them very soon, at least before I actually start the majority of my seeds. Talking of starting seeds, I already have started some of my super hots, actually the majority of my super hots because they tend to take a longer time to get fruit. So it's good to start them a little bit earlier than maybe some of your other peppers. So I'll start all my super hots at the beginning of January and then the majority of the rest of my plants will be started at the end of January. You don't want to start them too early else they'll be dying to get outside long before you're ready to actually put them outside. Anyway, enough of the talk. Let's look at the seeds I'm going to be growing in 2021. The same as I did last year, I will share the spreadsheet down in the description below. It's a Google Docs sheet, so everybody should be able to access it. And feel free to take a copy for yourself if you want to use it. But it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It just helps me out when I am doing my seed sowing. The first varieties we'll look at are the rarities. These are peppers that are either wild or they are just rare types. So the first one is the Capsicum Galapagoense, which is from the Galapagos Islands. Then we have the Capsicum Exile, which is another rare one, and that'll be interesting to grow. And then this other one here, which I just like the name to be honest, but the peppers themselves look quite interesting. It's the Machu Picchu. And I think this will be quite an interesting one. We can see the pepper down the bottom there. It looks a bit funky and it's meant to be a capsicum chinense but it's not one I've heard of before so interested to see how that grows. The next up are the looks. So I've got quite a few in here for the looks. The Buna Mulata was such a beautiful chili and really was nice to grow. It had beautiful colors and long chilies and if you have a look on my grow update for last year you'll be able to see how I got on with these but they were very early fruiting pepper but they looked stunning. Let's have a look through and see what we're going to use. So the Buna Mulata, these are my isolated seeds. I'm also going to keep aside some new Buna Mulata as well. So these are again uh, the same seeds, but these are ones that I got from Yucca Fatali this year round. And I'll probably start a couple of each. 
We have something here called the coffee. It's a capsicum chinense, not a very hot one. Sugar rush, stripey. I do want to grow that one, so I'll put that aside. That's an interesting looking one, stripey pepper. And I think that is going to be an interesting one to grow. We have something called the erotica. I do want to grow that. That looks very interesting. This one here is the bikino yellow. This is a very interesting looking one, uh, teardrop shaped. The Brazilian pumpkin, I do like this one. I've grown it before. I think I will add that to the list. And what else we got here? Some Valero. I remember reading up on this. This is a capsicum anum. Um, not a very hot one, but it does look interesting. Some interesting pods. So that's a maybe. We'll put that over there. Uh, that's a no, the blended lemon yellow. Coffee, I think, is a maybe. Phineas Blue, this one, or Phileas Blue. This one looks really cool. The pepper actually grows to this bright blue. I've never seen a blue pepper, so that one has to go into there. That's a capsicum anum, and it's apparently fairly spicy as well. This here is the Kabai Burung Ungi. Uh, that's a maybe. The Ahi <laughs> Ahua Japan. That's a capsicum bakatum, and it looks quite interesting. I think that's a maybe as well. And this one here, the Naranga. Again, another teardrop shaped pepper. I like the look of that. I think I will be adding that in. So that's similar to the, uh, the Bikino yellow, um, little pointy end. Valero, I think that is not gonna make the cut. Coffee, I like the look of that. It looks like a ricotto to me but a coffee colored ricotta. And it is a capsicum chinense, so be interesting. Not a very hot capsicum chinense, so we'll see if we get that, uh, that, that lovely chinense flavor without the actual heat. We'll see what that's like. So I think we'll add that in. Kabai Barung, there's capsicum frutescence. I don't think that's gonna make the cut. And this one here, the Ahi Ahua Japan. I think, uh, I think we've got enough of the good looking peppers. So we're going to add those all into here and I will update my spreadsheet a little bit later. Hots. So not too many hots here. Uh, the one that I did want to do is the Fatali. I don't think I've grown the Fatali before, weirdly enough. Uh, this is, it's a fairly spicy pepper. We're talking around about Scotch bonnet, habanero type spicy, maybe a little bit hotter, I believe, but they're very pretty looking plant and they grow really well. So you can see there's only one seed in here because I have actually already planted a few of these. And chocolate habanero, I haven't yet planted those. So those will definitely be going in as well because there aren't really a lot of just plain hot. So I do differentiate between hots and super hots. Uh, they just have different usefulnesses. Um, the one hot that I do want to add in here is a scotch bonnet. I just can't find my isolated seeds for that at the moment, but I will find them and add them in. This here is a smooth white capsicum chinense. Um, it just looked interesting to me on the website and that I think would be quite interesting to grow. So that's gonna go in as well. Let's look at the taste. So this is the interesting one for me. Um, so a couple of these here are actually quite old seeds. This one in particular, the Ring of Fire. This is from, oh wow, this is, let me have a look in my spreadsheet. Uh, 2017, so about three years old, almost four. These are some really tasty peppers. And it's basically a cayenne that is a lot spicier than your typical cayenne, but still has pretty much the same flavor. And it goes fantastically in my Blazing Buffalo basic sauce. So I need to grow a lot more of these because, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be making a lot more of this sauce. So any of these older ones, anything older than about two years, three years, they might take a little bit longer to germinate. So you need to start them a bit sooner than your other peppers. This is another one as well. The super chili was a uh, pretty old chili for me. This here, this specific pack was from 2015 or 2016, I believe. So again, I have started these and it'll be interesting to see if they actually germinate. What else we got here? Sweet apple canby, beautiful tasting pepper. Not very hot, it's a capsicum anum. Actually, it's got no heat. These here, the Wiri Wiri, these were sent to me by one of my viewers. Thank you very much, Kevin K. I don't know if you wanted me to mention your full name, but Kevin, thank you so much. You sent this to me back in December, 2019. I was gonna start them last year, but I ran out of space. So I'm gonna be trying them this year. And these are from Goana, South America. They have a tangy flavor and used extensively in Guanese or Guanese 
cooking. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I'm interested in growing these out and seeing if I can make some of those dishes. Jalapeno brown. I do want to grow a few more jalapenos this year. As always, I grow too few jalapeno plants and uh, definitely want some more. So this is a brown jalapeno. It looks quite interesting. Jalapeno mammoth. This is the same as the ones that we grew last year. So I'm going to be adding those in. Ahi mango. Again, I think it's a maybe. I'm not a massive fan of the ahis. They do have their place, but <laughs> there's so many other peppers that I prefer. The Turbo Pube, we'll be growing that. This is one that I grew last year and actually had some amazing big pods. I didn't get to actually try them on a video for you guys, so I definitely want to grow them again and do that. They were a very pretty plant and quite abundant as well. It was a massive, massive plant by the end of the season. They're these lovely black seeds, like are typical from a lot of the capsicum pubescence and an enjoyable one. So we'll be growing that. These are some isolated peppers, the ahi lemon drop. Like I said before, I'm not a massive fan of the ahi lemon drop, but actually it's, it's a really good dry spice. So it's not really a sauce that I've made that I've liked yet. Uh, hopefully we can still do one because I know they are very popular and they are very pretty chilies, but we'll see. Uh, I will be growing them again this year and we'll, we'll try again, make another sauce, see where we come with that. El Oro de Ecuador. These are very similar to the Turbo Pube. I think I like these because the flowers looked very interesting to me. So I think I will add them. These are the El Oro de Ecuador. Not as hot as the Turbo Pube, but uh, yeah, beautiful looking flowers. And then pepper juice. These are seriously tasty. So these here are all the, the ones that I'm growing just for the taste. Pepper juice, definitely a very, very tasty pepper. And if you are battling to get seeds for the pepper dew, just do a search for Malawian Picant and you should be able to get hold of them. I believe the Hippie Seed Company has the Malawian Picant, but beautiful, beautiful pepper, especially pickled. And we're going to decide, are we going to be adding any more of these? I think maybe another ricotto. So the ricotto Costa Rica, I think we'll be adding that. And maybe this Hungarian hot wax, we'll give that a try as well. And these here are going to one side. So super hots. Let's have a look through here. Uh, <laughs> let me just show you. I actually started these seeds on Sunday just before my live stream, uh, which was really a lot of fun. I had the live stream with Kangstar. So if you haven't watched that, go and watch that. But in the morning on that day, I'd actually gone and started up a lot of my seeds, including all my super hots. So let's go through the super hots that I have started. We've started about 48 um, cells, so 48 plants, and we'll see how those come through. And like I said, we've also included a few other chilies that maybe take a bit longer to germinate because they're older, and um, maybe some of the rare types as well. So let's have a look through here. This one here, <laughs> this is not only a super hot, but it's also from 2007. This is a Butchalokia from 2007. And I'm growing it just for nostalgia's sake because I still have, well now I've used all the seeds now, but it was around about this time that I was really getting into growing chilies. So 2006, 2007, very interesting time for me. So butcher lucky, I'm going to try those. I'm not 100% confident they will germinate, but we will see. Scotch Brains, these are Capsicum Chinens, and I got that from one of my lovely Patreons. Thank you, Robert Connor. I know you don't mind me saying your full name, but uh, Scotch Brains, there's a few that you sent me, including this one here, the Jamaican Chocolate, which is also another Capsicum Chinens. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be starting both of those. There were some others that you had sent me, but I just chose these two. Um, there was just too many choices. Seven Pot Primo, of course, absolutely love my Seven Pot Primo. I do have some isolated seeds as well. So I've started some of my isolated and I've started some from the new one. I prefer using seeds that I've cultivated from my own grow because they tend to grow a lot stronger the next years as you keep cultivating them because the stronger seeds uh, from your specific environment are gonna do much better in the following years. So I've grown a little bit of both and we'll see which ones do better. Seven Pot Primo, very, very, very hot pepper. Uh, <laughs> This yeah, another very, very hot pepper. And this is my seven pot habanero. I isolated these back in 2018. So these are effectively two and a half years old now. And um, yeah, I still have a few more in there, but we've started some of those. Carolina Reaper, 
got to be great some of those uh, this here, you can't really see the label, but this is a THC, uh, that's the hippie seed company, Chocolate Scorpion. Um, we all know that the Maruga Scorpion is a very, very hot pepper. Well, the Chocolate Scorpion is a very pretty, very hot pepper. So I've planted a few of those. Trinidad Scorpion, like I've just mentioned, very hot, but this one is the Butch Tea variety, and apparently it takes it to the next level. So I have started a few of those as well. Then over here, Maruga chocolates, similar to the, I'm pretty sure it's going to be similar to the THC uh, chocolate scorpion. I've started both of these because it'll be interesting to see how they both pan out, uh, which one's hotter, which one grows more abundantly. And yeah, I'll just save seeds from whichever plant I think is going to do the best in following years. Naga brain, just, it looks very pretty. I really do love the, the look of these and also, of course, the heat is ridiculous. So Naga Brain chocolate. We've got quite a few chocolates. I have a chocolate colored sauce planned for next year. This is one. I've never grown a bubble gum before. This is a seven part bubble gum and it's always fascinated me and I don't know why I haven't grown them before, but the seven part bubble gum, it's on the calyx of the, the pepper. So above where the actual fruit of the pepper is, the calyx is quite different colors and it's quite interesting so compared to a normal plant which the calyx will be green this one here can actually be a variety of colors so that'll be very interesting to grow and it is a stupidly hot pepper as well these guys here i've started them they are now sitting nicely inside the germination box inside my grow tent waiting to start creating some lovely seedlings for me. We don't need any light in there just yet because they haven't yet broken the surface of the soil but as soon as they have I will get a light on top of them. Let's have a look now at uh, the sweet peppers. So again I am waiting on a couple other seeds that I want to add to my sweet pepper collection. Chocolate bell pepper should be quite interesting and hopefully nice and sweet. Got a capsicum red cherry. These are older seeds as well. These are I think from 2016 and um, yeah, they, they should be quite a nice sweet pepper. I do like a, a sweet pepper inside my, my grow because when I'm in there looking at my chilies, it's nice to be able to grab one to snack on. Um, I haven't made any notes on this, but uh, it looked very interesting to me on, on the web. I did a bit of research on this. The frigatello looks like something that I will really enjoy. Apparently very nice as a stuffed pepper. But again, these are older seeds. These are from 2017. So I actually have started some of these already. My staples. So one of my staples that aren't here are my KN, but uh, <laughs> I need to find them. I have tons of containers just full of seeds and I need to just find them, but they grow quite quickly, so I'm not too worried about it. The Hein and Yellow Lantern, I recommend this. If you can get hold of some Hein and Yellow Lantern seeds, do get yourself some because the plant that results from this is beautiful and massive and it's probably one of the earliest fruiting super hots that I have uh, for the last couple of years and then the real bonus here is the fact that it makes a beautiful sauce it is really hot but very flavorful and uh, yeah definitely a favorite of mine so that's going in Antibahidoma, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you'll know that this is a firm favorite of mine. It has a little bit of spice, but it is so, so sweet. Sweeter than a bell pepper. It is just stunning and the flavors are amazing. I have got a video where I did a taste test of it and uh, you can get my, my thoughts on that. Of course, we've got to have my peri-peri. These are my isolated peri-peri. I've been growing them for many, many years now. These are the same varieties that I grow every single year and I have a bunch that I have isolated. Definitely be growing quite a few of those. Okay, what are we down to? We're down to the last one. This is the Chili Chump Seed Kit. The Chili Chump Seed Kit comes in two varieties. The first one here is the one that includes the Reaper cross with a Doogler and that's an F4, so it's not a very stable variety, but I wanted to include this because I wanna see what you guys are gonna get. So if you did manage to get yourself one of these seed packs, these sold out fairly quickly. I think there's only about 100 or so of them. But if you did manage to get them, please, I'd love for you to share your pictures on the Chili Chum Facebook group or on my Instagram or direct message me on my own Facebook page. And I want to see the different types, uh, the results that you're going to get from growing your Reaper cross with the Dougler. It's always interesting when the plant hasn't stabilized properly, 
the results you get are going to be pretty fascinating. Of course, there are some others on here as well, which are the same as on this one. So we don't need to go through them all or twice at least. <laughs> so let's go through these ones here. We have habanero orange, of course, a beautiful pepper and probably one that should be a staple as well. So probably from next year onwards, that's going to be one of my staples because that there you can make some stunning sauces. It is just a beautiful tasting pepper and you can do some, you know, some really lovely sauces and really create some heat for your pepper, your pepper sauces and your pepper mixes that you're making. Ancho Poblano, of course, had to include that. Again, another sweet pepper, something is lovely to taste. But more importantly, this is one that, again, like I did last year, there will be a competition who can grow the biggest Ancho Poblano. And again, I'm referring back to my live stream where I spoke to Kangstar. I hope I was able to convince him to try and enter the competition as well. You don't have to have the chili chum seed kit to enter the competition. Just get yourself an Ancho Poblano and grow them out. I don't want to force you guys to go and get these seed packs. The whole point of these seed kits is so that you can grow along with me with the specific varieties. I come up with some new varieties each year that hopefully are going to be interesting for you to grow. And that's the whole point behind this. It's not to try and make money. I don't make money out of this. This is literally something I work with. Yuck Fatali, um, and he puts this together for me based on my suggestions as to what peppers I want. And it's literally so that I can see your progress and you can compare your progress to mine when you see what I'm doing with these. Another interesting one here, jalapeno. There had to be a jalapeno on here. There's going to be a jalapeno in every one um, going forward as well. But this specific one is interesting. It's the jalapeno farmer's market. And I don't know if you can actually see that there, but it's really an interesting looking jalapeno. So not every single one of them are going to have this effect. So basically this is called corking. And you can see that these here, the jalapeno farmer's market potato, I don't know why it's called potato, but the jalapeno farmer's market, it corks up really well. And it's not going to cork up every single one of your chilies, but when it does, you're going to see it uh, have this beautiful effect. So those are going to be interesting. I'm really keen to see how these get on. Then we have the Ahi Nortino. We had to have an Ahi in here. I know that uh, I know that Yoko Fatali is a big fan of the Ahis and he always insists on me adding something and I wanted something a bit interesting. So there we have the Ahi Nortino. Then the last one here, I was so fortunate that Yoko agreed to this one. This is a rare pepper. This is called the CGN 1998. So 19198. It is a very, very rare pepper. And actually, it costs quite a bit of money on Yucca's site. So the fact that he's included it in the seed pack was uh, was a bit of a score for you guys. So I'm very thankful to you, Yucca. Thank you. And thank you also for sending me so many seed varieties this year. But that one's going to be interesting. I need to actually start some. I meant to start some back in um, the 3rd of Jan. Uh, when I started my super hearts because this one here can take a little while to germinate. Some of the rare types can take up to two months apparently to germinate. So yeah, I really need to get cracking with that. The one other pepper on the pack the, that's available at the moment, which again is running out of stock, but the pepper that we re replaced the Reaper uh, cross with the Dougla is the Nagamoric. Again, another super hard pepper, 1.5 million Scoville roundabout, but it's a beautiful, big pepper, beautiful flavor as well. And the plant, if you grow it in the right conditions, you're gonna have a real abundance of these chilies. So fantastic one as well. You can see that there already are a couple people viewing my spreadsheet at the moment. These are my patrons on Discord. So I don't know who you guys are. It's gonna come up as anonymous, but I've already shared the link with you guys. So you can see me actually modifying it as I go along. But I will update this with all the seeds that we've spoken about today. I'm really looking forward to you guys growing along with me this year with the Chili Chum Seed Kit and all the other seeds as well. Please share your progress with me on the various social media, whichever you use. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Reddit. I have a subreddit called Chili Chump, of course. So that's reddit.com forward slash r forward slash chili chump. And that's managed by myself and a good friend of mine, Paul Curtis. Thank you, Paul, for helping me out on that. Uh, but otherwise, you can go to the Chili Chump Facebook group or my Chili Chump Facebook page. Um, two different things, but you can send me pictures there and uh, I'll keep track of everything going on on the Chili Chump Facebook group. So post up there. Everyone else, I'm sure, would love to see your progress as well. 
And uh, feel free also to hit me up on my website, chillychomp.com. There's a contact section there. And I've actually enabled it so you can post photos to me as well via that contact page. Hopefully that works. I haven't seen anyone do that just yet. And the Ancho Poblano competition, I will give the details of that uh, a little bit later, not too, not too long uh, to wait for that. But it'll be very similar to what I did last year, same sort of rules and same way to submit your progress. And like I said earlier, you don't have to have the Chili Chum seed kit to be able to enter the competition. If you've got seeds still from last year or you've managed to get yourself some other Ancho Poblano seeds, feel free to grow those out and uh, submit your entry for that. And uh, Hopefully, we're also going to have um, Kangstar join us with this competition. He did say he would give it a go, but I know how busy the guy is, so we'll see. But if he can join in as well, it'd be nice to have a bit of friendly competition between him and myself in this. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much. I hope that your January has got off to a great start. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Until then, stay safe and stay spicy.